अ वेरी वम वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल आज की जो हमारी वीडियो है बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है उन सभी के लिए जो सी यू ई टी पी जी एम एस डब्ल्यू की प्रिपरेशन कर रहे हैं और उनका हमेशा सवाल रहता है कि डी यू नहीं तो कोई और सी कोई सी सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी है जहाँ पर हम एडमिशन ले सकते हैं और वहाँ पर कितनी कट ऑफ रहती है एडमिशन किस तरीके से ले सकते हैं पैकेज क्या रहता है इस तरीके के जो उनके कुछ फंडामेंटल क्वेश्चन होते हैं उनको लेकर मैंने इंट्रैक्शन किया है राजीव गांधी नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ यूथ डेवलपमेंट के जो प्रोफेसर हैं प्रोफेसर राम बाबू बोचा एंड प्रोफेसर आरिफ रशीद उनसे मैंने इंट्रैक्शन किया है जिससे मैंने आपके सभी जो फंडामेंटल्स क्वेश्चन हैं उन सभी को मैंने उनसे डिस्कस किया है साथ ही मैंने जो स्टूडेंट्स वहाँ पर पढ़ रहे हैं उनको एक साल हो गई है कुछ पास आउट भी हैं तो उनसे मैंने डिस्कस किया है उनका उनका एक्सपीरियंस देकर जाना है किस तरीके से उनका एक अकेडमिक सफर रहा और वो आज करियर में किस तरीके से अपना काम कर रहे हैं तो इन सभी को ध्यान में रखते हुए मैंने उन साथ इंट्रेक्शन के वीडियो हो सकता है कि थोड़ी लेंथी हो जाए बट आपके लिए बहुत ही बेनिफिशियल होगी बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट होगी इसमें सभी ऑलमोस्ट सभी एस्पेक्ट में मैंने बात की है लाइक उनका एडमिशन किस तरीके से लेना है कट ऑफ क्या रहती है पैकेज कितना रहता है एवरेज से प्लेसमेंट कैसा रहता है क्लासेस कब चलती हैं फील्ड वर्क कैसा होता है कल्चर कल्चर डिफरेंसेस को किस तरीके से आप ओवरकम करते हैं वर्कशॉप से रिलेटेड और बहुत सारी चीज़ें हमने इस वीडियोज में डिस्कस की हैं आप इस वीडियो के साथ बने रहें और देखना देखने लास्ट तक कि आपको क्या क्या इसमें आप उसके बाद लास्ट में एडमिशन लेना है या नहीं लेना है आप उसके बाद डिसाइड करें मैं तो ये रेकमेंड करूंगा इस वीडियो देखने के बाद आपको एक तरीके से अगर डी नहीं मिलता है या तो अपने साल को ड्रॉप ना करते हुए अगर आपको राजीव गांधी नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ यू डेवलपमेंट में एडमिशन मिल जाता है तो ये आपके लिए बहुत अच्छा होगा आप बहुत अच्छी तरीके से अपने आप को अपनी पर्सनैलिटी एक्सप्लोर कर पाएंगे जिसके लिए आप इस पूरी वीडियो को देखो और समझो कि आप किस तरीके से फिट हो सकते हैं उस इंस्टीट्यूट के अंदर सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर बिंग हेयर अब बढ़ते हैं अपनी इस वीडियो की तरफ अब बढ़ते हैं इंट्रेक्शन की तरफ जिसमें हम मिलेंगे प्रोफेसर राम बाबू बोचा सर एंड प्रोफेसर आरिफ रशीद सर सो थैंक यू सो मच दे आर वर्किंग विद वेरी वेल रेप्यूटेड इंस्टीट्यूशन एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन अक्रॉस द कंट्री एंड लास्ट ईयर वी प्लेस सेवन ऑफ आवर स्टूडेंट विद राजीविका दट इज राजस्थान गवर्नमेंट प्रोजेक्ट and uh, nine of our students were placed in sos children's villages and they are paying uh, uh... Uh, like the infrastructure is so good here uh, because they the high tech lab facilities are there the exposure is there in the first month only we got the uh, chance to be a part of the national study conference and we won the poster competition uh, there so uh, medical facilities is there hmm. uh, sports facilities is there full wifi is available on the campus it's a beautiful residential campus and uh... a very warm welcome all of you i hope you are doing well my name is nadeem uh, today we will discuss about rg and y rg and iyd means to say rajiv gandhi institute of youth development we will interact with professor bocha and we will interact with dr asif ali he is a professor here and uh, we will discuss with the students who are pursuing their masters degree from rg and iyd okay so firstly i want to introduce about this institution this institute uh, the rajiv gandhi national institute of youth development it is situated in sri prabhudur tamil nadu the rg and iyd functions as a vital resource center with its multi faceted functions of offering academic programs at post graduate level encompasses various dimensions of youth development engaging in seminal research in the vital areas of youth development and coordinating coordinating training program for the state agencies and the officials of youth organization besides the extension and the outreach initiative across the country so rig rg and iyd serves as a youth Org observatory and depository in the country thereby embarking on the youth surveillance of on youth related issues it has a wide network with various organization and working for the welfare and development of youth people and serve as a mentor so i would like to tell you about the professor bocha uh, he he has done his masters degree masters degree and he he is a placement officer in the, of institute of social sciences program he received his phd from ignu new delhi he is a recipient of young achievement award in social work he holds the lifetime membership at napsb and ispsw he presented 10 papers at international levels and 30 papers at national conferences he has gained 10 years of teaching research practice experience in social work he has coordinated several training programs 
fourth national seminar conferences at RGNIYD and the international workshop. Currently, he is the principal invigilator of the research project on the youth at risk. There are 25 publications in Scopus, UGC Care List, Peer Review Journals, edited volumes through his credit. He, he is the author, co-author and editor of three books. He visited three countries, Thailand, China and Sri Lanka. Two of them were nominated by the government of India officially. And we will have the Professor uh, Rashid Ali, Dr. Rashid Ali. Uh, he has done master's degree from uh, sociology and social work department at Aligarh Muslim University in 2008. He worked as development training during 2008 and 9 and worked as national level field coordinator from December 2009 and March 2012 in Action Aid India and interna in, uh, international development agencies. Thus, contributed his service as an employee of AAI in several states of India. He received exposure training in Pradhan and Hindustan Zinc Limited and processed an ex excellent academic career throughout his study. With two gold medals, national level doctor, doctoral fellowship, eligibility to the lectureship with the Masters of Philosophy and Doctor of Philosophy degree from the Department of Social Work, Aligarh Muslim University. Dr. Rashid, uh, Dr. Rashid is a lifetime member of Indian Society of Professional Social Work uh, since 2019. Dr. Rashid is working as a faculty on contract in the Department of Social Work at Rajiv Gandhi National Institute of Youth Development, uh, Sri Perimbadur, Tamil Nadu. Dr. Rashid, uh, Dr. Rashid uh, has uh, contributed several research paper articles and field based book in 2005 to 2023 so and we will interact with the students who are pursuing their masters in degree masters degree in social work and the namely uh, mohammed nomir ali he is pursuing masters degree in social work from rg rg niyd with specialization in the youth and community development and we will interact with the Dhananjay Sarma. Uh, he is qualified. He has done his double masters in MCOM and MSW. Two year experience in NYKS as a post of national youth volunteer. And uh, we will have Gautam Swarn. He, he qualified. He he's a, he has done his law graduate. He is he law graduate from Delhi University and currently mastering for MSW first year from RG NYD. And uh, we will have. Uh, Prashant Bini, he has done BBA grad he is a BBA graduate from Jamia Millia Islamia, Delhi. Currently he is pursuing master's first year RG and uh, YT. So these will be the uh, participant of this seminar. So we will interact with the professor, uh, Professor Ram Babu Bochaji. So over to you, sir. Uh, firstly, I would like to thank welcome, you. I would like to welcome at the platform of much. Academia Social Work YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. First of all, I would like to congratulate Academia and under uh, your uh, leadership and also on behalf of uh, the Department of Social Work, uh, Rajiv Gandhi National Institute of Youth Development. I extend a warm welcome and also Thank you, uh, appreciate your efforts and also congratulating you uh, for uh, uh, reaching out and also helping so many people in uh, uh, different parts of the country. And also, I would like to uh, appreciate our uh, uh, colleague, Dr. Ari Frashir, and uh, students, uh, Gautam Savang, Prashant Binni, Dhananjay Sharma, and uh, Naomi Alam for joining us. And also, special appreciation to Gautam Savang for coordinating with you. Uh, for the last several days, he has been trying to host this uh, 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 program, and today we could uh, make it possible. And definitely this uh, uh, session would be very, very useful to the people who are uh, uh, looking for the admissions in RG and NIYD, career in RG and NIYD, and also in the, particularly in the domain of uh, uh, social work. And uh, yes, to talk about uh, the Department of Social Work at uh, Rajiv Gandhi National Institute of Youth Development. And we have established uh, this department in 2016, 2016. Uh, with uh, uh, the unique specialization called youth and community development and uh, first of its kind in the history of uh, social work in India uh, to offer this program uh, on youth and community development at, uh, uh, at an institute of national importance. Yes, so all of you are aware that uh, our uh, institute that is RGNIYD has been rendering uh, uh, the services in the area of youth development and this is only the institute at national level uh, working for youth development across the country and uh, it has been established in 1993 uh, with an act of parliament 
and uh, uh, across the country we are conducting various training programs we are conducting uh, research uh, studies and also in the uh, sri perambadur headquarter and regional center chandigarh we are offering uh, uh, academic programs undoubtedly uh, the master degree in social work is uh, uh, creating a positive impact in the uh, society with the engagement of uh, young and brilliant students from uh, different parts of the country from first batch onwards till seventh batch we have a very very uh, talented and uh, uh, kind of a brilliant uh, students in our department and uh, now for the third time we are going with uh, cute that is uh, uh, central university entrance test and uh, which is uh, academia has been uh, disseminating very very valuable information to the uh, aspiring students who are looking for uh, their uh, uh, admissions in central universities and uh, uh, national institutes like uh, rg and nid i would uh, uh, like to appreciate once again uh, academia for taking up this uh, initiative and also i believe that this is a kind of an win win relationship between uh, rg and nid and academia uh, in reaching out uh, the unreached uh, through these uh, kind of sessions and i can assure uh, that uh, the learners who are looking for rg and nid admissions and they will have a better future and we have efficient faculty members in our uh, department and we have very good network across the country the students from rg and nid do their uh, internship block placement in various parts of the country such as uh, uh, guwahati delhi mumbai calcutta chennai hyderabad and there is a uh, very good uh, uh, history of uh, employment and job opportunities our students work in uh, international organizations national organizations educational institutions research organizations and also some of our students reach the abroad uh, for their further studies and also uh, job opportunities and similarly and another segment of students also have established their own organizations and with which they are creating employment opportunities for others uh, uh rightly uh, pointed out by dr apj abdul kalam uh, the young people of this country uh, should become the job generators rather than job seekers so some of our students also are in this uh, particular domain and uh, uh, they also have uh, chosen uh, entrepreneurship development as one of the career opportunities with which they are creating job opportunities to various categories of the people and uh, at the same time they are sustaining their own uh, uh, career so this is how msw program at uh, our institute is uh, helping people and also training people both personally professionally and for society's betterment thank you very much for the opportunity mm. uh, academia welcome sir welcome sir it's a honor sir it's a honor to track with you sir uh, sir i would like to ask you the very brief uh, fundamental questions to you because uh, the many students are called me and ask uh, do we have another option than du do we have another option of ds than dsw or where can we go for the better uh, for the masters in social work than du or other jamia and bhu so uh, i i recommend only few institute to them like uh, tech du jamia and bhu uh, most of the people are no, most of the aspirants of cuet pgm is who are not aware about the rg and yd uh, because of the uh, i don't know what was the main reason behind it but, uh, but because of this uh, i want to uh, one of the my objective of this video is that i want to spread the information among the student that they have a option rather than du if they want to continue if they want to pursue their masters in social work so uh, i would like to ask some few questions they have like uh, they want to know the what would be the cut off to uh, get admission in uh, rajiv gandhi national institute of youth development and uh, what would be the fee is fee structure for it and uh, college working days like uh, we have a college to monday to friday or monday to saturday uh, what would be the field work days and how to what how to report to the professor what would the process of ic individual conference and group conferences and other things like the, these are related to the social work so they asked me uh, these questions so i want to ask you to ask you to you that please uh, if you, it would be uh, beneficial for the all students who are pursuing the, who want to pursue the masters in social work from rgrid they will get uh, benefited uh, after hearing you thank you very much uh, nadim and this is a wonderful question and this will clarify so many doubts of the aspiring uh, students for rg and nid 
and uh, apart from me uh, sharing some information and also my colleagues and uh, the students also can uh, uh, interact with you uh, this is a very good platform sharing the uh, the session with uh, mr nadim and who, who has a lot of experience in a social work program yes. first of all why uh, the, the the young people should join rg and nyd and we have our own unique features of our program instead of comparing with tiss or dsw or jamia or some bharati dasan university or madras school of social work and all our is an institute of national importance so exclusively working for youth development and we have started msw uh, program and uh, department of social work to train the uh, social work graduates with youth development uh, issues and uh, youth related uh, aspects so that is one uniqueness those who want to uh, serve uh, in the youth development sector they can directly join our institute and there is no comparison with any, any other university in general with msw uh, msw program uh, connecting with other universities and definitely we have uh, some kind of uh, uh, special engagements just like other universities we don't compromise on no uh, field work component and 100% attendance is uh, mandatory and uh, second one is uh, we provide uh, quality teaching in the class three days in a week and uh, field work uh, two days in a week saturday and sunday it is uh, off for them being a central government uh, institution and we encourage our students to participate in national and international conferences seminars and workshops so that they will also gain lot of experience and also wherever uh, there is an opportunity to give presentations such as uh, poster making presentations uh, oral paper presentations research based presentations and all and the third point is uh, we conduct some skilled uh, uh, skill based or skill development workshops in the first semester we uh, conduct uh, uh, a workshop called uh, uh, street theater workshop which provides uh, some capacity building on folk arts with which they can reach to the uh, community uh, with a with a very good programs and uh, uh, sensitizing various categories of people in the society and second one uh, we also train our students on uh, uh, spss and research methodology and so on these are uh, some kind of uh, uh, important engagements and also we take our students for uh, rural camp and uh, study tour uh, is optional post pandemic post covid uh, we have we could not materialize it so uh, other than that uh, very important component of msw program at uh, rgnyid uh, is uh, uh, 12 credits dissertation so every student uh, should undergo a research uh, uh, study which is which carries uh, 12 credits which is definitely it is a heavy but uh, we are guiding the students so uh, in a systematic manner from third semester onwards in the by the time they complete fourth semester they should uh, submit their uh, dissertation worth of 12 credits and that enables uh, them to acquire research skills how a research project can be carried out in at the master degree level in itself and every one of us should agree that uh, the international organizations and some uh, reputed big organization they are looking for uh, Uh, the graduates who can who possess this uh, research skills documentation communication and uh, presentation all these uh, we are concentrating from beginning onwards to train our students and other aspects so uh, i request our colleagues uh, to speak and related to field work this group conference individual conference and all uh, we have very bright students uh, in this session uh, sharma is there naumir is there prashant and uh, gautam they also can talk about how the teachers were guiding them uh, during the field work rather uh, teachers telling if students also can uh, uh, share their experience with uh, uh, nadam so it will be very very useful to the audience over to you arif sir mute yes you sir your sir, mic you your mic to... is your mic is mute sir oh Please, sorry okay uh, good morning uh, bocha sir and my salutation to mr nadeem uh, mr dhananjay mr gautam mr prashant and mr 
no meal uh, one thing i would like to bring your attention mr nadeem over here that uh, uh, on this platform almost all present uh, people do not belong to the state of tamil nadu so uh, you can understand the importance of arjun yd but the thing is that we are unfortunate that our people are not knowing about arjun yd and we are in the process of bringing the importance and the existence of arjun yd in the minds of the uh, students especially from the north east india sorry uh, north india and you can see that the students are uh, coming from different states almost 15 states students are participating in arjun yd every year and if you will see uh, the structure fee structure you will find that uh, not more than uh, 35000 if i am not wrong in the first semester one should have to pay and uh, it includes the uh, dining uh, fee as well that uh, amounts around 18000 prashant is here nowadays prashant is holding the smmc charge or dining charge so he will be elaborating in a much better manner Uh, and besides this uh, smmc charge there is the admission fee so around 16000 admission fee is there so total 35000 rupees uh, one student has to pay uh, in the first semester while they are taking the admission and regarding this cut off uh, since uh, uh, everyone is knowing that arjun yd many students are still not knowing about it so uh, first second list uh, we are not getting much students because mostly are those who are applying uh, or willing to come to arjun yd they are much more willing to go and join the tata institute or uh, to the delhi uh, university so they wait for the delhi university and other uh, north indian states uh, universities and then they opt for the arjun yd because they are having apprehensions the reason is not that we are lacking on academic ground but the reason is that they are having the apprehension and the parents are having much more apprehension than the student concern because the distance distance one can see but on the other hand if we will see we will find that every year the northeast india students are coming and they are equally having the same distance as the delhi students or himachal students is having so it's a only a matter of perception and a matter of awareness about the arjun yd and the matter of uh, uh looking forward the opportunities in the youth development so since bocha sir was talking about that it's a specialization in community development and youth development community and youth development so institute is directly associated with ministry of youth affairs and sports and in this context every year the ministry as well as the uh, national institute of uh, this arjun yd they are conducting the national youth day and our students are getting the opportunity to participate presently in this uh, uh, current year uh, almost uh, uh, 15 or more than that uh, bocha sir would be telling right uh, number they have particip participated in uh, uh, nasik uh, national youth day uh, congregation and they have learned they because that gives the exposure exposure to to the young mind and here in arjun yd campus it organizes several programs which involves the people from not from india but from outside india as well so this gives a good exposure to our young mind and nowadays uh, since uh, india is having 27.5% youth population so government of india is also focusing a lot and when our students are coming out after completing the msw they are not in the position of just seeking the job but they are in the position to establish their own organization and such examples are here in arjun yd so this feature because since i belongs to the state of uttar pradesh so everything was new for me and i have seen this from my own perspective from my own uh, point of view so i found uh, many such positive aspect that uh, we uh, when we study or when i was studying we were looking after only the job after the msw but here i have found that after the completion of the msw or during the msw we find a few 
students are having a few students are having this kind of idea in their mind that they should have to form an organization just after the completion of their MSW. Currently in this batch, one student is having this uh, idea that after the completion of the MSW, she will form her own organization. And recently, uh, Dr. Bocha sir has organized a panel discussion in which uh, four different uh, alumni has uh, visited the institution and out of four, uh, I think one is having her own organization and she is the COE of the organization and she has completed her MSW ju just five years before. So that kind of potentiality, the RGNYD and, and especially the Department of Social Work is developing. And uh, uh, Bochasar was talking about the street theater. Uh, the folk, uh, traditional folk uh, capabilities that has been developed among these students, that was new for me. Because here in South India, more than uh, 700 traditional folk dances are still functioning and they are make use of these things in generating the awareness in the community. Mm. So best of the expertise, the RDNYD, the Department of Social Work, uh, seek the help of them and they used to come every year without any absence or without any uh, uh, missing uh, their chance to not to visit the RGNYD. They used to come and they used to train our students for three days. And I am surprised and I am uh, very much astonished that within the three, three days, how our students who is at the very first interaction is having the hesitation within three days the entire personality of that student transformed and they performed the very difficult task, very difficult task of dancing like Oriatam, uh, Karagatam, and some other uh, full dances. And on the basis of this, they generate the awareness within the community. So that gives an impact and that gives the, uh, uh, this uh, motivation and uh, encouragement. And generally, we used to implement after the three days training in the nearby uh, village that is called as Kachipattu village, adopted village of RGNYD. So RGNYD students are every year, they are contributing. And one more thing I would like to bring your attention that how this uh, place, Sri Parambudur, is in the hub of the industries. More than 3,000 industries are here nearby the RGNYD campus. And it is just 40 kilometers away from uh, the capital city of uh, Tamil Nadu, that is Chennai. So strategically, the RGNYD on the highway, on the Chennai-Bangalore highway, it is having a very big, big uh, or very uh, significant uh, strategic location. So here, our students directly can go and experience the corporate social responsibility experience they can go, as Bochasar was talking about, that generally our students used to go to the workshop for attending, participating, presenting paper, and interacting, whether it is poster presentation or simple interaction or exposure. So here, uh, the institutes like MSSW, the Loyola College, Stella Marys College, MCC, Madras Christian College, all these colleges, if you will see, these are very reputed, very old, and very um, disciplined organizations. They are here in uh, nearby Chennai. But uh, you will find that uh, RGNYD is having much more presence across the India uh, than uh, these institutions which are parochial. They are attracting the uh, students mostly from the nearby states, from Tamil Nadu and from Kerala. But RGNYD is having this kind of capability to attract uh, the students across India. So once the students are coming to the RGNYD, they are bringing several cultural uh, diversity and cultural, and in that diversity, our students develop the skill of cultural competency as well. Myself, if I will share my experience, when I was in North India studying over there, I was just knowing the Onam and Pongal by the, uh, by accessing the books. 
But once I came over here, I myself has witnessed, I myself has participated. And on yearly basis, we are participating in this kind of activity. So mm. that is the extra benefit. Mm. And another good aspect uh, that we will see. Yes, uh, Nadim. Yes, Nadim, sir. Do you want uh, to uh, yes, yes. This, as you are telling that uh, you are also witnessing, you are becoming the participant, you are witnessing the things you read in the book in the, your school time or college time. And uh, I want to know yeah. that uh, the, when the when the uh, student of MSW they visit the field visit during the field visit they interact with the local uh, people uh, they are not much, much familiar with the English uh, and the uh, uh, students are not familiar with their local language so how what were the field work challenges they face during this uh, cultural differences and language differences I want to know that because I, I if I am below if I am taking my example that I am from North India. If I'm pursuing my master's in social work from RG and IYD, so uh, I will, whenever I will visit the field, I have to challenges, I have to face challenges like language barrier, culture barrier, how the how the institute to, uh, train them to interact with them and do you have to set the student from the local community or the, do you, what, what, what would be the criteria to, to break the differences and to reduce the gap between uh, a, a student or the uh, community? Uh, yes, uh, actually, uh, this is a very, uh, very uh, question, very, uh, the question of importance, which uh, everybody can bring in their mind. Because once we are uh, migrating from one state to another state, we think that uh, how we will be able to cope up with the uh, language in another state, and a state particularly like Tamil Nadu, and uh, the Tamil itself is, seems to be very difficult language. But uh, we are having the presence over here, the four students and myself and Bochasari is also here. Bochasari is now fluent in speaking the Tamil. And when Dhananjay came over here, he was also having the difficulty initially, but the department also always take, takes care that the students who is coming from North India or from Northeast India or from Maharashtra or from Himachal Pradesh or Madhya Pradesh, they should not be sent alone. They will be going with in pairs, two, three, four students. And that will be the amalgamation of uh, Tamil student, uh, Malayali student or uh, Hindi speaking student. So uh, this is one thing and our students facilitates to those who are not understanding initially. And this kind of challenge generally occurs in the first semester. And then second semester, the student himself or herself starts grabbing. If not able to speak much, the uh, basic words they start using, they mm -hmm. starts understanding what the conductor and bus driver is talking about and how they should have to com commute from one place to another place. If they would not be able to speak in a public, they would be able to interact uh, by the help of the available other students. So like that, we are facilitating. And our students are also very much quick. And it also depends upon the capability of an individual student. Some learns very quickly. Some takes a little more time. But they do not find uh, the challenges. Bocha sir want to say something. Yes. Yes, Bocha sir. Please add. I, I, I totally agree with uh, Dr. Arif Rashid and uh, uh, Nadam also has asked a very, very pertinent question. And I would like to just uh, give two points here. One, uh, definitely it is a challenge. The language barrier is a challenge to North Indian uh, students who are coming down to uh, Tamil Nadu to study. And MSW program is closely connected with the uh, field work and which is uh, they have to work with uh, the people in the villages and uh, different parts. So now what we are doing, that challenge we are uh, trying to convert into as an opportunity. So that challenge itself uh, becoming an opportunity, by the time they complete fourth semester, they are also uh, learning uh, Tamil language. Point number one. Second one, how we are uh, facilitating them uh, the field work uh, will be facilitated as a, uh, a group of three to four students are uh, uh, sent together and one among them we are ensuring as uh, Dr. Arif Rashid uh, uh, highlighted 
one among them oh, uh, must be familiarized with the, the local language so in that way we are able to overcome the language barrier particularly in connection with field work this is what i would like to so by coming down to tamil nadu they are learning one more language oh, within these two years hmm. that is the opportunity for them true sir uh, thank you uh, thank you mr sir Uh, being a so uh, being yes, MSW yes, uh, being a MSW student, we are not bound only with the classrooms. We have to interact with the community, and uh, we can say that this could be challenges, this could be adventure. And uh, those who are want to always want to explore something new, they want to introduce the to himself or herself in a new positions. So that would be great for them. Here, I would like to add, uh, uh, Mr. Nadim, one thing. that uh, as bocha sir was uh, telling that uh, we are uh, trying our best to convert the challenge into opportunity recently when i uh, was uh, preparing my cv i have added uh, the language tamil uh, in my cv as well so that uh, how i got this opportunity and the second thing is that uh, here in chennai uh, so many organizations are working on different issues so if students are missing on any one aspect uh, initially regarding the language they learn about the different uh, work that organizations are performing earlier we were not knowing about the sos we were not knowing about the how this idea of uh, uh, creating uh, artificial house and uh, mothers and siblings and all this so these uh, kind of organizations and the organizations which are working on the mental issues they are also having uh, the inmates from the north indian states hindi speaking states the organization like don bosco mm. migrant services because the north indian state hindi speaking states people are coming to tamil nadu and uh, kerala so don bosco migrant services are working with the hindi speaking uh, people so our students are the asset for them because they uh they are longing for the uh, the hindi speaking people and our students are contributing a lot so uh, meaning by in some way or another way uh, they, they are not losing anything if and it i and finally it depends upon the capability of the student as much as he or she is having the compassion and passion they will be coming forward and learning and we are we were surprised at how the people from south india they are knowing 14 languages and 13 languages nowadays we are looking after that our students many of our students belonging to other disciplines they themselves are knowing six languages seven languages mm. so uh, one should not have any kind of apprehension dhananjay is here nomir is here prashant is here gautam is here and sonu is here raju is here they are all all are now becoming capable enough initially they were having the fear of obviously it is very simple if uh, a newly married girl is going to another new house she would be having certain apprehensions so that is very common one should not have any kind of challenges we and uh, the good thing also is there for parents mm -hmm. i generally used to uh, verify the documents so students parents a few students parents also used to come with this kind of apprehensions to this place because of the distance but once they are interacting with us they are finding that many are available over here within the campus many north indian students are here and uh, a few uh, teachers are also here so uh, they they uh, got the motivation and uh, courage to survive over here and to learn over here and no doubt the south india is providing a lot of exposure to the students so i would uh, suggest that they should not have any kind of apprehension rather they they want to join they must so, join but they should assess that in which field they are having their interest so uh, in the last sir i want to know the few questions from you uh, that uh, rgnyd uh, rgnyd is providing a specialization in youth and development or is a generic master like dsw have a generic masters in social work uh, they are providing general Uh, generalization but uh, in the tis in the case of tis we have a specialization in criminal justice social work community development rural development urban community development and another uh, areas but uh, i want to know from uh, you that uh, what about rg and yd that they are providing a specialization in youth and community development or uh, is, is it a general mr blue 
Uh, Arjun, why the uh, social work department is uh, having this specialization only in community development and youth development? Okay. So uh, within the community development, those students who are willing to go for uh, mental health issues, those who are going uh, willing to go for the CSR, those who are willing to go for uh, the rural community development, hmm. or like that, several issues. So differently, they can opt. Accordingly, they can move to different organizations. But as the TISS is providing different uh, specialization or MSSW or Loyola College is providing different specialization, mm. we are very much spe specific and exclusive on community development and youth development. Therefore, this is the premier institute in the context of youth development. Uh, like in the beginning, sir, we had discussed about the uh, skill workshops, skill-based workshops. I want to know that uh, are you providing this skill based uh, uh, workshop or, or any other kind of workshop to sensitize the people or students or or other technical in, uh, workshops also like uh, do you providing our uh, ms office uh, ms office skills like excel ms word ms powerpoint because these skills are also in, uh, important for the uh, for the student or aspirant who are uh, willing uh, who want to willing to join any csr or other kind of organization so these skills also are most important for today's era and not for today's era it is uh, coming from the last uh, many years so i want to know that uh, are you providing the specialization workshop for ms offices uh, skills or uh, only sensitize the people like street dancing and street theater and other, other so since uh, bocha sir is coordinating several uh, this kind of uh, activities so i think that he would be more suitable to answer although street theater spsf workshop and uh, many such activities are there but he will be elaborating in in a very finest manner bocha sir thank you very much uh, basically yes i i should appreciate uh, nadam to raise this question Actually, what we are uh, doing, uh, and uh, being a placement officer of this institute also, uh, we are definitely concentrating on uh, skill development and uh, skill uh, related uh, courses in our institute. And uh, every department is uh, conducting some skill based workshops on uh, SPSS, that is uh, quantitative data analysis uh, uh, software, and also some uh, softwares like R that is uh, that qualitative data analysis uh, software and um, now we also should concentrate on providing uh, uh, some skills related to ms office the, which includes ms word excel powerpoint the basic computer uh, skills hmm. for the uh, students uh, directly we are uh, unable to give any kind of input but we have very good uh, computer lab equipped with very uh very good uh, la desktops with high speed internet and there are uh, uh, the computer in the computer lab we have uh, uh, staff who can guide them uh definitely it's uh, happening uh, that uh, skill development related to basic computer skills is uh, taking place but uh, uh, at the department level uh, uh, we are unable to provide any such kind of input but definitely uh, now from placements uh, we will concentrate in uh, providing uh, such kind of skills which is very very important i can uh, i can say so this is what i can uh, talk but advanced mm -hmm. level of uh, computer skills such as this spss r and uh, facilitating to participate in uh, some workshops like uh, mendeley and all these are uh, little advanced but basic things also are very very important and uh, so that i would like okay. to uh, appreciate thank you so much for the answer sir i want to know the, uh, the how many seats are uh, there in department of social work or is, is there any reservation for the women or especially the reserved seat for the specific uh, strat of the society is there yeah uh, in our department uh, the exception the, of the, the reservation maximum... policy except uh, the reservation policy yeah yeah and we have 40 seats, so maximum of 40 students we can admit in our department. And uh, uh, as far as uh, the government of India rules are concerned, uh, we have uh, uh, seats for uh, open category, OBC, SC, ST, and EWS. And recently, we have added one more uh, seat for uh, defense uh, category, that is, uh, who have served uh, as ex-servicemen and their children. So uh, this is uh, government of India rules uh, are 100% applicable uh, to fill up the seats. 
okay. and we are also finding uh, difficult in filling the seats related to uh, sc and st category the remaining uh, seats under general category obc uh, we are able to uh, get the students and uh, uh, those who are looking also for the, this particular category also can appear for our uh, uh, exam that is a cute exam tomorrow is the last date i think not tomorrow today today 10th february is last date yeah. for application yeah yeah and those who want to apply you they can apply today and uh, uh, on behalf of our institute and department we uh, welcome the students who are aspiring to join us and uh, through academia by thanking uh, mr nadan for organizing this session and also you will be having a very very comfortable stay in uh, rgnvid and this uh, department is one of the friendly department student friendly department and uh, with efficient uh, uh, group of faculty members mm. and uh, you you will have very very good seniors alumni from across the country if not across the world and you will be given uh, utmost priority for your career advancement and a bright future mm. in uh, social work uh, sector this is what i would like to tell you and once again i welcome everyone and also i thank uh, academia under the leadership of uh, nadan hmm. if any other questions uh, students also can uh, yes, interact they will, uh, i want to know that uh, nasser in last i want to know the what would be the uh, uh, placement processor process you have and what would be the average package for the student they uh, this is the fundamental questions the students ask before the joining an institute so i want to know from you that uh, what would be the a uh, process of uh, placement and uh, how much uh, do you have do you providing 100% placement or 80% or uh, all the students have been placed after the completion of their msw from rgn yeah yeah thank you very much and another important uh, uh, point for the social work department and students the placement officer belongs to uh, department of social work that is uh, uh myself dr ram babu bacha who is taking care of uh, placement uh, uh, activities of uh, the entire institute for social science departments for last 3 years i am conducting uh, placements and placement drive for the students and as far as the social work students are concerned uh, for last two batches we could uh, achieve in providing uh, placement opportunities to more than 65 60% students during the placement drive itself and where they are placed they are working with uh, very uh, well reputed institutions and organizations across the country and last year we placed uh, seven of our students with rajivika that is rajasthan uh, uh, government uh, project and uh, nine of our students were placed in sos children's villages and they are paying a, a very good salary and they are working in different parts of the country that is bihar maharashtra madhya pradesh odisha tamil nadu and meghalaya like this so our recruiters also are from uh, across the country and our students also are from across the country and our job opportunities also from uh, different parts of the country that is something very very important mm. so is there any and apart from this uh, csr we yes we also provide uh, the uh, employment and job opportunities in uh, csr projects some two of our students are uh, currently working and uh, we also facilitate our students to join various fellowships like gandhi fellowship sbi fellowship teach for india fellowship and uh, this uh, janasuras fellowship seva fellowship and uh, and so on uh, csr projects we are giving utmost priority and also some of our students are working with uh, leading social enterprises Uh, the social enterprises which are uh, uh, working on uh, addressing the social issues at the same time gaining profit for their sustainability this is how uh, our placement activities are uh, moving forward and our aim to provide 100% placements to our students with the support of uh, our institute government projects alumni of uh, our department and also our own network across the uh, country that is our strength thank you so much sir thank you Poverty. thank you so much for the response sir thank you so much for the all the uh, answers you gave today and uh, now we will discuss, uh, now we will move to the students they are pursuing their masters in social work i want to know their experiences uh, how they are gaining and how they are learning and what are the new challenges and how they overcome these challenges and uh, how they are feeling about the institute and uh, 
because it would be the very good for the students who are want to appear and who want to join our gnoid so we want to listen from the students so mr gautam i want to start from you you can start to tell about your experience in our gnoid thank you very much uh, thank you very much bocha sir arif sir and dhananjay bhaiya everyone who is joining with us so uh, actually i completed my law from du uh, then after i decided to uh, why i joined here was uh, was the first question why i joined here so the the questions was like uh, i don't wanted to uh, work in a comfort zone so if i would be taking admission in uh, north india it would be very easy to me to communicate but after coming here it is very good for me that i'm uh, i'm getting opportunity to new learn things new cultures and uh, here uh, in rj and iyd it is known as mini india because from each each state each part of the country all almost uh, almost uh, every students are there so uh, whenever any kind of uh, 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 festivals are uh, coming we celebrate together all kind of festivals so these are the new things that we are learning and uh, <clears throat> if we talk about class academics so uh, first of uh, the very first thing i would like to bring that punctuality very punctual you can't uh, you can't go class by if class is at 10 you must be there before 10 because teacher is waiting before 10 <laughs> every teacher is there before you so if you go at 10 5 10 3 uh, you may you may get punishment of kind of like you will not uh, given attendance or any kind of thing so this is punctuality you cannot compromise with punctuality no one will compromise for the first thing the second thing uh, seminars you are getting seminars presentation if uh, suppose in north india if we talk about up bihar students so many of the up bihar students having a difficulty in speaking english this is very first thing because i am also from bihar and i feel that earlier I, i i was very uh, my english was not good i can't uh, i i hesitate to speak english but you will get here opportunity to present yourself and you cannot compromise with language because only only english is the language you will communicate so this is opportunity you will get you will not have another option you will speak in english and your english will become very good and your seminar presentation skills it will it will enhance because there is no not very much students are there teachers are giving you giving you you are getting a quality education here you are giving uh, you are uh, you are getting time proper time to enhance yourself so seminar presentations are also very important you will be uh, you will be judged on how you speak how you are uh, how your actions your uh, ppts like you asked uh, about how to do ms words and so so you are ge- you are getting chance to do all those uh, ms words ppt you you have to make your ppt and uh, uh, according to your ppt you are also getting the marks on that how you are presenting yourself how you are dressing yourself so these are things like you are learning here you can't go in class like a uh, uh, okay just take a uh, formal t shirt and go you can't do this because you are going class you you will have to behave like a student like a professional not like a student like a professional even in class you are behaving like a professional hmm. so seminar presentations are very important you are doing here you are getting so many every day you you like uh, you will completed with one subject another subject there is a seminar presentation you will not get time to like if you if you are thinking that you will uh, easily you can do msw so no because there are so many works to do and you and it is important because you are engaging yourself you don't have time to th- think about other things you are doing yourself and you are enhancing yourself then conferences like you will uh, you will be gi- uh, given more opportunity to uh, join any conferences like uh, i submitted abstract in, in international conference in loyala chennai loyala college they are organizing a international conference and uh, 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 like uh, uh, people from the different uh, 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 country they are coming in that uh, conference and my abstract is uh, accepted in that uh, for the paper presentation even uh, namir bhaiya is there he his uh, uh, paper presentation is also been accepted so you are getting this uh, opportunity as well to represent yourself at a international level at a national level so it will also enhance your uh, uh capability to deal with the people 
you will be very good in, at public communication if you like you ask like uh, how we will i was i was just i was placed in uh, kachipettu village nook center which is a to total uh, tamil people are there you will have to work with the tamil people so in that center students were there and you are not only learning uh, you are not you are there to work you are learning with the uh, students were teaching me uh, the basics of tamil and i learned so many things uh, like nalla arkya means how are you so nalla these kind arkya. of words i i am so now i can understand what someone is saying now i'm very familiar with the tamil now i'm in first first semester i'm not completed even second se second semester but now i'm very familiar with the basics of the tamil so now anyone is speaking anything now i can understand what they are saying but by the time i think i will be i will be completed by the one language absolutely i will also add in my cv that i know tamil so this is also very uh, beneficial for me so <clears throat> a conference you will get uh, opportunities like this conferences you are going uh, in centers you are learning new things children will teach you you will teach something to to them and uh, uh now if we, if i talk about extra curricular activity so if you have like there is uh, in arjun wadi annual sport it it's been completed ju just just uh, uh, one week before uh, you will be given chance to participate in different kind of games and in annual sport you 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 will feel like yes you are playing something very very good very good like i was every kind of games you will be uh, you will be given a, a chance to play and if you are really good at sports you will be given chance to represent yourself at national level at international level even because there are in sports you can't like you can't beat this institution because uh, volleyball cricket football uh, uh, chess indoor games outdoor games all the games you can play all the games you can't uh, like if you are good at sports you can also join this uh, uh, institution for the uh, sports so these are the things like uh, i'd like to bring before you if you have any question then you can ask uh like uh, you have told me that you have learned many fundamentals of uh, you have learned fundamentals of tamil language so are you with the are you learning tamil with the help of movies it's a very movie ah, no no you... i don't i don't get time to watch <laughs> movies i literally i don't get time because watching movies is something different i go to i was placed in a nook center and there mm. were children some children but they were giving nook center were teaching them uh, giving them skills mm. okay they are working on those children so those children were coming there and those children were teaching me the basics of tamil okay okay so i was learning Sounds from the children yeah very interesting so yeah. this is the like like i i felt that that, that i am here for the uh, what is happening this is uh, uh, everything is purposeful mm -hmm. uh, uh thank so, you thank you so much gautam sir but i want to go to back uh, back to mr uh, professor ram babu ram babu ji Uh, I, i want to know that what would the criteria of a hostel allocation how many seats are there and how what is the criteria to get seat in hostel and what would be the mess charge and uh, and room charge and all all, all all complete complete charges for the hostel yeah uh, yeah definitely i would like to talk about it and uh, uh, usually we have limited seats in our boys hostel and girls hostel but what happened last time uh, we could accommodate all our uh, 37 students in uh, in the hostel there is no uh, problem in providing accommodation to the students but in the beginning what we say we will uh, look into the admissions turnout for, for other departments and um, for this year i don't think there will be any such kind of problem related to uh, accommodation providing uh, to our students uh, that i would like to make it very clear and uh, second point is uh, it will be around 32000 they need to pay in the first semester that that is including their tuition fee mess fee and uh, hostel room rent 32000 so of uh, all these three components they will be paying some uh, 32000 uh, in 32000 in 32000 we will uh, after paying 32000 uh, in, in this 32000 we are paying for the tuition fee we are paying for the hostel we are paying for the mess also true true, okay, true. all okay. these three components uh, it's a very 
very very nominal very we very come nominal. under the, this uh, nominal charges uh, government okay. of india so we don't charge too much true sir thank you so much and sir, all these details story. are also available yeah. in our uh, this uh, website one mm. can uh, go through that and also get the details mm. and if any uh, updation or any uh, kind of uh, uh, kind of uh, this thing revised rates and all uh, will be there okay sir thank you otherwise so much. in the first semester we charge little higher side including uh, that uh, uh, cash and deposit of 5000 rupees uh, something like that otherwise it will be uh, nominal from next semester onwards it's not uh, that much thank you so much for the clarification sir uh, because i got the uh, i got the messages on my telegram channel and on my email that how many seats are there what would be the fees criteria because i have recommended many aspirants to join rj and because uh, i i talked to gautam he sent me the videos of the infrastructure of the institute and he told me about the environment he talked he told me the uh, culture environment of the institute and the, the ambience of the institute and essence of the institute so i i recommend many students to join our jnvit so after watching this video the many student would get many clarities they would get the many answers they would have a questions for that and uh, uh, after watching this video many students will apply for the our jnvit maybe the sc and sc sheet would be filled after watching this video <laughs> we are hoping for this <laughs> and uh, uh, and uh, now we, I we can we can we can uh, invite uh, um, Dhananjay Bhaiya for his uh, mm. uh, guided like he is he was uh, the senior of our uh, uh, super senior uh, from our college. So yeah. yes, please. Now I would like to welcome Mr. Dhananjay. Welcome Dhananjay ji. Welcome to Academy of Social Work YouTube channel. Namaste, Sabiko. Namaste. Yeah. Namaste. Namaste. Uh, Namaste. Pranam uh, Dr. Dambabu Acha sir or Pranam Dr. Arif Dasi sir, आपके लिए special है. ये सच बता रहे तो RJ NYD अगर हम देखने जाए तो जैसा कि Dr. Bocha sir ने भी कहा कि यहाँ बहुत सारा activity होता है, rural camp लगता है, street theater लगता है, फिर field work होता है, intensive होता है. फिर आपका ब्लॉक प्लेसमेंट डेजेंटेशन रिसर्च ठीक है और एसपीएसएस वगैरह जो है ये सब के भी बारे में बताया जाता है तो कहने का मतलब ये है कि यहाँ आपको सीखने के लिए बहुत कुछ मिलता है और यहाँ आए दिन आपका जो है इतना ज्यादा एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलम एक्टिविटी होगा कि मतलब आप इतना इन्वॉल्व हो जाइएगा और इतना ज्यादा बिजी रहिएगा कि जब आप ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में जाते हैं कहीं तो वो आपके लिए ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में काम करना काफी इजी हो जाता है आपको बहुत ज्यादा बिजी रखा जाएगा आप कहीं दूसरे जगह आप किसी गलत कार्य में आप इन्वॉल्व नहीं हो पाइएगा सबसे बड़ी बात तो ये है और सेकंड जो है अभी गौतम ने बताया कि टाइम का बहुत ये परफेक्ट है जितने भी प्रोफेसर है सच बता रहे ये तो है आ, हमारा जो है हमेशा हंड्रेड परसेंट अटेंडेंट रहा है हर जगह पे ठीक है आ, ये रिकॉर्ड है आ, हमारे मतलब इंस्टीट्यूट में आ, मेरा और मेरे रूममेट का एक कमल लोचन महानता है हम लोग दोनों का ही हंड्रेड परसेंट अटेंडेंट रहा है क्योंकि आ, मेरा तो हमेशा ही से यही मानना है कि आपको कुछ आए चाहे ना आए ठीक है आप जहाँ आप ज, आप उस ओरिएंटेशन को अटेंड कीजिए उस क्लास को अटेंड कीजिए आप बैठिए आप जरूर सीख पाइएगा हो सकता है 100 परसेंट नहीं सीख पाइएगा 50 परसेंट सीख पाइएगा लेकिन सीखे ना आपके जाने के बाद ही आप सीखे आप अगर नहीं जाते तो आप जीरो परसेंट सीखते आप सीख नहीं पाते तो ये चीज है वहाँ टाइम का बहुत ही परफेक्ट पंक्चुअलिटी है आप अगर दस मिनट या पांच मिनट या दो मिनट भी लेट चलते हैं तो आपका जो है अटेंडेंस एबसेंट लगा दिया जाता है तो ये काफी अच्छा है और 75 परसेंट अगर अटेंडेंट है तो आप जो है बिना ए, आप बिना कॉन्डेंसन फी दे दिए आप एग्जाम दे सकते हैं और अगर उससे नीचे है तो आपको देना पड़ेगा और इस प्रकार का जो व्यवस्था रहता है और इससे जो है काफी मोटिवेशन मिलता है और हमेशा हम लोग क्लास करते हैं और दूसरा चीज ये है कि वहां से प्लेसमेंट प्लेसमेंट देखिए सब कोई प्लेसमेंट चाहता है सब कोई जॉब चाहता है काम के लिए और जो नॉर्थ ईस्ट के बच्चे हैं और जो नॉर्थ साइड के बच्चे हैं 
उनके लिए आरजे अनाडी मेरे हिसाब से बेस्ट है क्यों कारण यह है कि वहां जो उस साइड के जो बच्चे हैं जब ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आती है ठीक है तो कोशिश करती है कि जो हिंदी परफेक्ट जानते हैं उनको लिया जाए जो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है ऑर्गेन ये सही बात है ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का थिंकिंग यही रहता है ठीक है जो हिंदी परफेक्ट बोलते हैं उनको लिया जाए और जब बच्चे हिंदी वाले आते हैं वहाँ आपका साउथ इंडिया में जो आर जे है वहाँ पढ़ने आते तो काफी कम मात्रा तो उनका जो प्लेसमेंट काफी जो है परफेक्ट रहता है कि होना तय है ठीक है ये एक है दूसरा फैक्टर और और मैं बताना चाहूंगा कि जैसे मान लीजिए जो दूसरे बच्चे हैं वो डी खोजते हैं ठीक है जे एन खोजते हैं बी एच यू खोजते हैं ठीक है वहां जाने का खोजते हैं क्यों क्योंकि उनके कहीं ना कहीं उनके गार्जियन ठीक है ये कहते हैं कि इधर ही पढ़ो तुम्हारे लिए सही रहेगा आना जाना सही रहेगा लैंग्वेज बरियर नहीं होगा लेकिन सही मायने में देखा जाए अगर आप चुनौती लिए नहीं लाइफ में ठीक है अगर आप बाकी लोगों की तरह मतलब एक ही तरफ भीड़ में चले जा रहे हैं चलो सब कोई गया वहां तो हम भी चलते हैं मेरा दोस्त गया तो अगर आप चुनौती नहीं लिए अगर आप कुछ हट के अलग नहीं किए तो फिर आप सीख नहीं पाइएगा आप एक कंफर्ट जोन में रहिएगा ठीक है नहीं आना वो अलग बात है लेकिन आप अगर स्टेप नहीं लेना चाह रहे हैं सोच रहे हैं कि चलो सब कोई गया तो हम भी चलते हैं तो फिर वो वहां थोड़ा दिक्कत हो जाता है ठीक है क्योंकि नया रास्ता बनाना वो आप ही को है और उस पर चलना आप ही को है लेकिन रास्ता सही होना चाहिए रास्ता लीगल होना चाहिए मेरा ये मान है और आर जे में मेरा आने का सफर काफी पुराना है उससे पहले मैं आर जे से जुड़ा हुआ एक संस्था है नेहरू युवा केंद्र संगठन आप लोग शायद जानते होंगे तो वहां मैं दो साल एज ए वॉलेंटियर मैंने काम किया और वहां से जो डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफिसर होते हैं उन्होंने मुझे इस बारे में इस संस्थान के बारे में बताया क्योंकि जितने भी डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफिसर होते हैं वो वहां पे जाते हैं ट्रेनिंग करते हैं तो उनको पता है कि वहां क्या क्या होता है तो उन्होंने मुझे बताया था क्योंकि मैं काफी अच्छा था मैं कार्य क्षेत्र में बहुत ही अच्छा रहा हूँ ठीक है और मेरे इस चीज को देखते हुए एक साल का वॉलेंटियरशिप होता है लेकिन उसको और एक साल बढ़ा दिया गया एक्सटेंड किया गया और फिर उसके बाद देखते हुए और तीन महीना बढ़ाया गया था तो थोड़ा मैं मानता हूँ कि मेरा एकेडमिक थोड़ा सा कमजोर है ठीक है लेकिन मैं ये मानता हूँ कि मैं कार्य क्षेत्र में कभी कमी नहीं करता हूँ जब मैं काम में आता हूँ तो काफी अच्छे तरीके से उसको करता हूँ तो इसी से प्रभावित होकर के उन्होंने मुझे सजेशन दिया था और मुझे जो है आने के लिए प्रोत्साहित किया और गाइड किया कि किस प्रकार से वहां जाना है तो हमारे उस समय में डायरेक्ट इंटरव्यू होता था उस समय डॉक्टर राम बाबू गोचा सर थे और ललिता मैम थे इंटरव्यू पैनल में बैठे हुए थे और मैंने इसी प्रकार हिंदी में ही दिया था इंटरव्यू उनको अच्छा लगा उन्होंने मुझे सेलेक्ट किया और मुझे मौका दिया पढ़ने के लिए और चूंकि एन से जुड़ा हुआ संस्था है तो जाहिर सी बात है एक जो आपने कहा भी था कि क्या ये रहता आरक्षण रहता है क्या तो रहता है ठीक है अगर आप एनसीसी से हैं एन से हैं ठीक है आप एस टी एस हैं ठीक है ओबीसी हैं तो आपको आरक्षण मिलता है ये भी है और कुछ अगर जानना चाहिए चाहते हैं तो बताइए हाँ श्योर ठीक है धन्यवाद थैंक यू सो मच धनंजय जी अपना समय देने के लिए आपने ये इनसाइटफुल जो बताया हमें चीजें आपने किस तरीके से आपका करियर रहा किस तरीके से आपने वहाँ पर ओवरकम किया चीजों को और किस तरीके से आप फील्ड वर्क में काम करते थे आपने कितने अच्छे से वहाँ से गेन किया है जो आपकी पर्सनालिटी में इम्प्रूव हुआ है जिसकी वजह से आप एक संस्था में काम कर रहे हैं ये सब बताना है आपने शेयर किया उसके लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद ये सुनकर अच्छा था काफी मोटिवेटिंग भी था सभी के लिए अब हम अपने टू तो और जो हमारे गेस्ट हैं उनसे उनकी तरफ बढ़ेंगे नौमीर मोहम्मद नौमीर और प्रशांत तो पहले हम बात करेंगे फर्स्ट आई वांट टू इंटरेक्ट विद द नौमीर एंड देन वी विल गो टू प्रशांत एंड फर्स्टली यस मिस्टर नौमीर वुड यू टेल मी अबाउट योर सेल्फ ब्रीफली एंड वट इज वट इज योर एक्सपीरियंस एंड हाउ इज योर एक्सपीरियंस इन राज एन आई टी अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ प्लीज अनम्यूट योर okay uh, first of all thank you to all and also gautam to organize this, such a, a very good interactive session and having a uh, giving a chance to uh, share my experience 
regarding my rgn id two uh, one and a half year experience so first of all uh, uh, i would like to say that uh, why i choose rgn id uh, because uh, i did my bachelor's from aligarh muslim university in social work department uh, ba honors in social work after that i used to uh, try the which college will provide me communication uh, exposure that where i can speak because i was eager to learn english okay because i did my you know the education background in hindi medium so i was trying that which college will provide a good uh, platform that where i can communicate uh, and i can develop my personality regarding communication so dr arif professor who was in here posted as assistant professor so i contacted him sir so sir advised me that uh, this is the opportunity if you want uh, then you can take admission you will get a good exposure so after admission uh, definitely you have to visit because social work as a profession you know, field based uh, field and practical based experience you have to gain then you will be as a uh, become a pro trained professional social worker so i visited uh, during first semester i visited uh, almost uh, uh, 13 organization as a observation visit through the observation try to understand the agencies uh, functioning and uh, how agencies working and the second second semester we are placed as a field work concurrent field work agency uh, as a social work training and that the challenges begin the how to interact with the people community people because my organization was based on the rural development so it was very difficult challenge then there was like uh, well we go to feel that the the department will uh, uh, try to make some groups uh, group two, two and uh, two and three people four people and among them one student will be from like kerala the kerala student they will be able to speak uh, tamil uh, or uh, they will be understand so they will be translate to in the english then suppose that i am going to do any any activities in the field the idea will be from my side they can help me to collaborate and we can uh, uh, we can successfully do the any program and regarding uh, field work we will try to collaborate we will understand we will try to maximize our potential how can we do the best so in in the field of in tamil nadu you will get different exposure as compared to north india in north india if you go to the field work you will be able to easily able to do the field work because you know the hindi you know the english but in tamil nadu you have to think critically you have to make a plan very critically and how you are going to act, you know make a successful plan so you will be more exposure as compared to other parts of the country which here uh, i am uh, getting exposure and after a third uh, after completion second semester in now i'm i have completed my third semester now i am able to communicate and i am able to deal with the community people not a verbal communication through we can use the non verbal communication like gestures how we came here and how what is the importance of objective we can uh, translate to the agency supervisor and supervisor will make the Uh, will help to understand the process then we are going to interact so uh, now i am not feeling that i am getting any problem to interact with the community people like Great. there will be challenge definitely but the thing if you are passionate towards the work in the community so there will be some sacrifices hmm. so these things uh, i think it's very i want to i want to know to you that uh, no mir uh, can you yes. tell me what was your cultural shock uh, when you visit the community and what was uh, is there, do you find any cultural shock you found that how uh, that is uh, that shook me that, there something uh, happened to you in the field uh no cultural shock uh, yeah definitely uh, suppose uh, sometime you go visit the community there will be certain programs is going on so that time how to interact that is very uh, we can directly we cannot interact because agency will be allotted to the village in the village we have to interact yourself so in my strategy i used to first to talk with the who is the stakeholder in the village who can understand Uh, my uh, message i will message to the stakeholders like uh, president of the village or any members and sg members mm. through this strategy first i will uh, uh, brief uh, introduction about me and how, why i came here then then they will be the uh, stakeholder will convey the message to the community people if community people is able you know, like to interact then we used to interact uh, with the community people so this strategy i used to apply in the field so i uh, could not find any difficulty in the field and people also very uh, like you and uh, express very happiness so till now i got very happiness from the tamil nadu people i am very happy a smile is a language of all languages yes yes you can start with this smile uh, i that i want to know that is there any practice certain practice that you saw at the field and you it was so do that oh this is different from us and this practice is different from my culture and uh, any kind of experience do you have there in the in the field uh that culture and not but uh, sub, 
in the field uh, most like I like they have a norms that kind of norms they have yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, uh -huh. because uh, when you enter in a company if you say wanna come it wanna means come. that you if, if you say wanna come it means that they will be feel very happy and immediately they will welcome to in the uh, house wanna come is very important uh, like a greeting to the people so wanna come is a very very important if you visit any place if you tell wanna come the repo will be start to talk with them automatically you will be able to speak so i think it's very uh, shock and they tamil language they prefer like uh, they will very respect to the tamil language like if you talk in tamil even you are from a uh, hindi state if you talk in tamil little bit they will respectively welcome to you that's i it's the shock of me. course of course of course it happens uh, yes, yes. anything on to add something no me uh you want anything, to tell the students uh, uh, who want to join or who are willing to join uh, rgy yes, yes definitely i welcome that if if anyone want to join in the rgy id it's most welcome first it will be like uh, already they discuss is a mini india if suppose we are in living in north india we will think about how is the kerala people how is the tamil people but while you enter in the rgy id you will get interacting with the, with them so we will be able to know the mindset how they are and will be exposure i will have a good networking uh, with the people uh, with the different kinds of uh, parts of the country in our department we are from uh, 10 states we represent 10 state of the country of india so we have different set of minds so suppose uh, sometime we did not get a like minded people but within that uh, we have to you know adjust yourself and you will get a platform to enhance your knowledge how to adjust with the different people mm. this is Uh, social work because in social work uh, platform you will be after completing your course you will go to the field there will be different set of people but in during the course process you already learned there the things how to how to do uh, deal with the people so it will be more beneficial to do masters from rgnid i think and regarding hostel facilities are uh, very good we have good uh, rooms and uh, hostel facilities mm -hmm. and uh, also we have uh, Uh, library uh, library services computer services is there mm. and different kinds of program is uh, and one thing is uh, unique here you will be know about yourself the first important thing that because uh, we no. are youth we yeah. are youth so we have to know about ourselves the the the, the, the institution will uh, give platform to know about yourself who is youth what is the definition of youth and how youth can contribute to the society and how youth entrepreneurship will emerging course how we can help the society that that this will be uniqueness here in our course we have a youth and specialized in youth and community development so we are uh, two different set but it's up to you how we, you are going to utilize the uh, courses structure i want to like that. i want to know one thing from you that uh, as a method yes, of yes. social work like a social action yes, yes. social action is a yes, method yes. of social work and yes, uh, yes. if we want to uh, do any action in the society we want to create awareness we want to do any certain task yes. or an objective to do with the community that uh, if i want to uh, make a plan or so selection in our community like in north india i'm talking about the north india context so i would yes, say yes. that i would uh, appeal the masses in the name of gandhi ji jawahar lal nehru subhas chandra bose and any other these are the national leaders and i, I can take only the local leaders also okay i can take the example of local leader also so uh, do you know any leader any local leader who did who contributed in the tamil community and would you appeal the to, uh, me appeal the uh, community in the name of that particular leader in tamil nadu the movement uh, ev ramas no i am not able to recall that person name but on the behalf of that personality e in tamil nadu they will ev ramas ev periyar ramas periyar ramas yes his contribution in tamil nadu is very prominent and uh, they will apply in the field always they will appreciate and regarding the programs will be in the community and so i think it's a very uh, known popular name in the tamil nadu periyar and b r ambedkar we can take the example of b r ambedkar also okay yes 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 now we are moving to the prashant he is waiting for the his chance because he is uh, now prashant you Thank can you. unmute yourself and you can come to the platform welcome prashant you are coming <laughs> last but not the least thank you for the patience yes prashant uh, well, thank you to dr ram babu gocha sir for joining uh, the session and dr ari prasit sir for uh, joining the session i also want to thank uh, nadeem bhaiya who has been a guiding uh, uh, light for all the students who are preparing for the msw cvt entrance thank you sir. and uh, uh, 
we are uh, we uh, followed you me gautam and like many of our classmates followed your youtube channel and uh, uh, we followed your guidance and uh, your dedication to sharing the knowledge and uh, the your content is so invaluable so i uh, much appreciation for your support and uh, the invaluable content you provide so thank you for that and uh, <clears throat> as gautam dhananjay sharma and uh, nomi we have discussed about the academic thing so i will give an insight about the food uh, as i am the secretary of the smnc that is the students mess management committee so uh, this is the prime concern for the students who are coming from the northern part of india so uh, here the mess is managed by a 10 member 10 member student committee and uh, by that yeah yes prashant i want to know one thing to you that is a very special question to you na you are coming on the last but i will give you a very interesting question to you <laughs> can you tell me what was the cut off to get admission in rajya uh, navad do you remember that around 180 180 like i scored 191 so i got my admission for the first uh, as a, as a as a general candidate as a obc candidate can you tell me the category wise Uh, for the general candidate, it's around 180. For uh, OBC, it's around 160 to 170, and SCST it's around 140 to 150. Like, like 130 also. Uh, SC candidate got admission in uh, at like 130. For S the, for ST for ST candidate for for ST candidate. Something around 130. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. It is very good question for you because it would very, it would be asked to me very frequently this question. And what would be the cut off? What? How can I get admission and all the things? Thank you, Prashant. And another things you want to add, you can tell me. Uh, like the infrastructure is so good here. Uh, we can say the high tech lab facilities are there. The exposure is there. In the first month only, we got the uh, chance to be a part of the national study conference, and we won the poster competition uh, there. So uh, medical facilities is there. Hmm. Uh, sports facilities is there. Full Wi-Fi is available on the campus. Okay. It's a beautiful residential campus, and uh, library is there. So these are a few things like, uh, and I must say that uh, this college is quite underrated as. Uh, uh, for the North India part, and people don't know th uh, that much about this college. So uh, the mess fee is around like uh, fifteen thousand. Uh, we have to pay by taking the admission. We have to pay an advance fee of thirteen thousand two hundred, and uh, it may fluctuate uh, around one to two thousand at the end of the semester. So that is uh, this is the mess fee, and uh, that's it. It's uh, quite good to join here, and uh, I'll invite everyone who is interested for pursuing MSW. Uh, I want to conclude this session. That uh, I want to. Uh, I, I'm like uh, now. I am concluding this session. If anyone wants to say something right now, he, he can tell me. Or otherwise, uh, should I conclude this session? From uh, uh, the Department of Social Work, we express our deep sense of gratitude and gratification to Nadim for organizing this uh, session. And also through academia, we, we hope and uh, we have a strong faith that we are going to reach the unreached and uh, uh, huge uh, young population of this country and whom we are uh, indirectly or directly benefiting for their career development uh, with uh, RG and NIYD. And definitely I appeal to the young people of this nation to join RG and NIYD and establish your strong career for strong nation building. Thank you very much. Thank you, so you. Thank you so much, sir. Now I am concluding that what we have discussed in this session. We have discussed about how to get admission in uh, RJ and IYD. And we talked about the 100% attendance and three days classes and two days field work. And we talked about also workshops and how what skill development workshops and is sensitive uh, to how to sensitize the people and sensitization workshops and how many seats are there and fee structure. And uh, Professor Bocha also told us about the rural camp and the hostel allocation and they have the 37 seats they in the uh, they have 37 seats in a hostel and uh, we have we also talked about the cutoff uh, cutoff category wise like uh, mr prashant told me about the 180 if you are securing 180 marks in a cu etpg msw exam so you are you are getting admission in uh, rgnyd 
it may be this cutoff may be higher because of this uh, change uh, changes of the pattern of the exam and uh, we talked about also seminar papers that the students are uh, presenting at different platforms and we have also discussed about the field work uh, challenges like culture barrier and uh, culture barrier language barriers and other things and we also discussed about the placements and uh, average package of the placements so this was the uh, conclusion of this session so i am now in the last i would like to uh, heartfully thank to Mr. professor bojram babu boja and professor dr arif they give us precious time uh, for this session thank you so much i would be very grateful for you always thank you so much for being here we will thank you very much. sure thank you very much all the best thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much